I'm the jerk who broke the stories uh, that you may have been reading about in the papers. Uh, this Princeton report, uh, a, a, an insider came to me, an anonymous insider who works for Diebold, uh, who I can't report his name, um, so I refer to him as Deeb Throat. <laughs> and uh, he said, uh, Brad, I got a, a voting machine, touchscreen voting machine, do you want it? I said, Yes, please, because no one in the world has ever seen these machines. I'm not kidding you. No one at the federal level, no one at the state level, no one is allowed to look into, these, uh, into the source code on these machines and find out if they actually work. Here's the news. They don't. Now, I gave this machine to Princeton. Princeton found out that you can, in, si in 60 seconds, you can implant a virus onto these voting machines. I'm not kidding. They're all over the country now. Actually, in 10 seconds, you can break in to the thing with a key if you have a hotel mini bar key. I'm not kidding. The, every single Diebold machine uses the same key. Open it up with a hotel mini bar key. You can get in and plant a virus. In 60 seconds, it will flip the votes on that machine. It can pass itself from machine to machine, flip an entire election, to delete itself at the end, and no one will ever know. So are you guys ready to uh, take back the House and Senate this year? That's right, we got them for you. You don't need them, use it 10 seconds, uh, use a bobby pin, it's really easy. I'm also the jerk who broke the story uh, earlier this week that Sequoia Voting Machines, that's another voting machine company, has a little yellow button on the back. <laughs> I'm not kidding. A little yellow button that you can press it, and if you press it twice, you can vote as many times as you want on the same machine, over and over again. Now. Uh, Sequoia is used in California more than any other voting machine, uh, and uh, Diebold is, is close, and another company, ESNS, is uh, right there with it. These machines were all approved by a guy by the name of Bruce McPherson. You know him. Okay, he's our Secretary of State. People have asked, well, why should I go out and vote this year if there's all these problems and everything else? I will tell you why you should and why you must. Uh, especially here in California, in Los Angeles, everybody thinks, oh, it's a blue county, I don't need to worry about it. You do need to worry about it because Bruce McPherson, the Secretary of State of California, appointed by the governor, came in and took these Diebold machines, did a big test on them last uh, July, July 2005, found that they failed 30% of the time. So he said, well, then let's move forward and certify them. And then we got to December of 2005, and we found that they were hacked in Leon County, Florida, completely flipping a vote on a Diebold optical scan machine, the one with papers. And so he said, well, let's do a study and make sure this is very bad. So he sent it to UC Berkeley. UC Berkeley came back and said, yes, that hack is real. And in fact, we found 16 other vulnerabilities that are even more serious than that. So he said, let's certify them. And he did. Now they're all over California, along with Sequoia, and um, this guy is running around saying that Deborah Bowen, the woman who is running against him, is a conspiracy theorist because she's concerned about these voting machines. In California, or as Diebold calls it, the country's largest voting market, what happens here, they do, what happens here affects the entire country. We cannot roll over again and let these guys take away the most precious thing we have in this country, which is our vote and our democracy. Stand up, take it back. This democracy is not going to save itself. Thank you guys for showing up tonight, and thanks for voting. Appreciate it. And the home of the ha ha.